As Huawei continues to face stringent global tech sanctions, it defiantly pushes the boundaries of its semiconductor capabilities using the tools at hand. The company's relentless pursuit to match and even surpass the latest advancements in chip making, notably extreme ultraviolet lithography or EUV machines which remain beyond its grasp, underscores a broader narrative of technological resilience. Can Huawei's innovative spirit overcome the substantial barriers imposed by international restrictions? Stay tuned as we delve deeper into Huawei's ambitious journey to redefine the limits of semiconductor technology, exploring both the challenges and breakthroughs along the way. Speculation is circulating about how much Huawei technologies, sanctioned by the US, can advance its latest chip-making methods to match the state-of-the-art designs enabled by extreme ultraviolet lithography or EUV machines it cannot access, even 10 months after surprising the world with a 7 nanometer grade processor. The history of lithography in semiconductor manufacturing stretches back several decades, evolving through multiple waves of technological innovation. Initially, photolithography used ultraviolet light to etch microscale patterns onto silicon wafers as chips became smaller and more complex. The transition to deep ultraviolet (DUV) and subsequently to EUV lithography marked significant milestones. Each advancement brought about sharper patterning capabilities essential for modern high-density integrated circuits, illustrating the relentless pace of progress in the semiconductor industry. The telecommunications equipment giant, based in Shenzhen, has remained secretive about its chip-making capabilities in collaboration with Semiconductor International Manufacturing Corp. SMIC. The company has never officially disclosed the method used to produce the chip powering its Mate 60 Pro last year. Now, Huawei is exploring a technique known as Self-Aligned Quadruple Patterning SAQP, as a potential avenue for further advancement. Self-Aligned Quadruple Patterning or SAQP, is one of the latest techniques in the semiconductor industry used to achieve finer patterns on chips essential for advanced nodes like 7 nanometer and below. It involves multiple patterning steps to refine the features on a chip without the need for newer lithography equipment. This method is crucial for manufacturers like Huawei, who are restricted from accessing cutting-edge EUV technology due to geopolitical constraints. By leveraging SAQP, Huawei aims to enhance the density and performance of its chips amidst these limitations. Now questions are arising about how far this process, utilizing existing chip-making equipment in China, can be pushed while Huawei attempts to temper speculation. A Huawei patent application, disclosed by China's National Intellectual Property Regulator in March, but filed in September 2021, initially sparked discussions about Huawei and SMIC's potential in advanced chip-making below the 14 nanometer threshold imposed by U.S. export controls. The patent details a method using SAQP to enhance the design flexibility of circuit patterns, resembling a patent granted in December to Sicarier, a state-backed chip tool developer associated with Huawei. According to the Post in April, Sicarier's patent describes a method for manufacturing chips on a 5 nanometer process node using deep ultraviolet lithography. DUV tools. DUV technology is less advanced than EUV, but China has been accumulating equipment since 2023 in anticipation of stricter export regulations. The imposition of US export controls on advanced lithography equipment, like EUV machines, has had a significant impact on China's semiconductor industry. These restrictions have spurred efforts within China to innovate independently and seek alternatives such as SAQP and DUV lithography. The restrictions underscore a broader geopolitical struggle over technological supremacy, particularly in sectors deemed critical for national security and economic dominance. As a result, China has increased its investments in domestic semiconductor R&D and manufacturing capabilities to circumvent these hurdles. Intellectual property or IP, plays a crucial role in the development and protection of semiconductor technologies. In the high-stakes world of chip manufacturing, patents like those filed by Huawei and Sicarier serve not only to secure technological advancements, but also to carve out market space in the increasingly competitive global landscape. These patents facilitate companies in maintaining a competitive edge by ensuring exclusive rights to utilize and commercialize their innovations. As tensions and technological races intensify globally, the strategic management of IP has become more vital than ever for companies navigating complex international regulations and market dynamics. In April, a Huawei executive, 
attempted to dampen speculation about its chip-making capabilities. Huawei Cloud CEO Zhang Pingan, speaking at a conference hosted by China Mobile, emphasized that the company will prioritize chip architecture over processing grades. Zhang stated that achieving 3 nanometer or 5 nanometer levels is beyond their current capability, with achieving 7 nanometer being considered quite satisfactory. His comments, appearing in both textual and video formats, gained widespread circulation on Chinese social media. Huawei and SMIC did not respond to requests for comment on this matter. A semiconductor engineer based in Taiwan, who preferred anonymity due to the sensitivity of the issue, mentioned that the SAQP technique could potentially support designs as advanced as 5 nanometer or even 3 nanometer. However, they cautioned that SAQP is a complex process with many possibilities for errors. Looking forward, the semiconductor industry faces multiple challenges and opportunities. The ongoing innovation in patterning technologies like SAQP and the development of alternative methods will be crucial for advancing chip performance and efficiency. Additionally, environmental considerations are becoming increasingly important as the industry seeks to reduce its carbon footprint and energy consumption during manufacturing. The quest for smaller, more efficient chips continues to drive the need for breakthroughs in materials science, lithography techniques, and manufacturing processes, setting the stage for the next generation of semiconductor technology. As the access to EUV lithography remains limited for Chinese manufacturers, there is a significant push towards exploring alternative lithography techniques. Techniques such as nanorm print lithography NIL, and electron beam lithography EBL, are gaining traction as viable alternatives to traditional photolithography, especially for ultra-fine patterning. These methods offer potential pathways for achieving high-resolution patterns necessary for advanced semiconductor devices without the geopolitical restrictions associated with EUV technology. The development and refinement of these alternative techniques could crucially enable China to bypass some of the critical technological barriers imposed by international policies. Earlier in 2024, Chen Yijian, a research scientist at Westlake University, highlighted on LinkedIn that an immersion deep ultraviolet DUV lithography scanner could support a process similar to Intel's upcoming Fortinet logic process, anticipated to debut in 2027 with a node size of 1.3 nanometers. Chen, who previously oversaw next-generation logic chip development at High Silicon, Huawei's chip design unit shared these insights on his LinkedIn profile. Chen had not responded to a request for comment. Since the release of its Mate 60 series smartphones in 2023, Huawei's advancements in semiconductor technology have been closely monitored. Recent turndown reports indicate that the company's more recent Pura 70 series runs on chips manufactured using the same 7 nanometer process as the Mate 60 chip. The two phones have become symbolic of China's ambitious efforts to expand its capabilities, aiming to reduce dependence on foreign technology. Huawei plays a pivotal role in China's drive for self-reliance in semiconductor technology, collaborating with various stakeholders across the country's semiconductor supply chain to pursue groundbreaking advancements. Since the early 2000s, multiple patterning technologies have played a crucial role in advancing chip manufacturing. These methods involve multiple exposures of small features like transistor gates to enhance resolution, a capability that would otherwise necessitate more advanced equipment. Analysts and fabrication engineers highlight that multiple patterning technology represents China's strategy for progressing its chip manufacturing capabilities beyond the 5 nanometer level in the absence of EUV scanners. ASML, headquartered in the Netherlands and holding a near monopoly on EUV machines, has been prohibited from exporting EUV equipment to China since 2019. In the face of relentless technological and geopolitical challenges, Huawei's journey in the semiconductor industry represents a compelling tale of resilience and innovation. As the company continues to adapt and explore alternative methods, like SAQP, it not only tests the limits of current chip-making technologies, but also sets a precedent for others in similar constraints. The unfolding story of Huawei's efforts to navigate and thrive within the tight confines of international sanctions will undoubtedly influence the future landscape of global semiconductor production and technological sovereignty. What do you think will be the long-term impact of Huawei's advancements in semiconductor technology on the global tech landscape? Feel free to share your thoughts and perspectives in the comments section below.
Don't forget to become a part of the Revel Discovery community by hitting that subscribe button to stay informed about the latest technological advancements and innovations. Explore endless tech possibilities for an exciting future.